Okay, people. Here we are. We just had uh, some things going on there. Now we're back. This is day 13. So, we need to get in here and inspect our stuff. So we can uh, be, uh, be aware of what's going on down in here. We don't want it to get too carried away now, do we? And there's our keeper. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll just take our diaper over here. and You'll get to see it before I do. But I'm going to watch it on the screen. And Oh, looky there. Oh, my goodness. All right. So now we need to get down in here. And we need to do us some, some, uh, some fuzzy dipping. That's a lot different than skinny dipping. Because this, this stuff is actually, it's, it's actually dry on top. Believe it or not, it's dry. Which makes for the good stuff. And uh, we're going to, I had a sample the other night. And that sample there was, it was pretty good. Because uh, with those Thai peppers, it, it did make a little bit of a difference. I thought, well, not, dang it, boy, they're, you just, you just can't t trust them Thai peppers because there wasn't anything happening with it. And then you sort of wait about 20 seconds and, and then you get this little, mm -hmm, yeah, or here. Yeah, so you gotta watch out. Them Thai peppers, boy. They, but it was very subtle. And it was not extreme. So you shouldn't uh, be afraid of that. And, and I neglected to say that we also, I also have two jalapeno peppers in here too. Along with the Thai peppers, a handful of them, and um, two banana peppers, one yellow and one red. And I don't know if it's the Thai peppers or the banana peppers that have uh, let this coloring come through at, uh, at being reddish. I don't know which one it is, but one of those is bleeding through. Of course, we don't really care now, do we? As long as it ain't uh, us bleeding into it, which we really do not want that. That, uh, that's a little bit beyond the scope of this. And, uh, now we get down in here and do us a little inspecting. Oh, got this garlic sitting right up on top. I think we're going to set this one aside. We have a new viewer which is Dee Dee, and uh, I'm going to take her a, a batch of these tomorrow. And uh, she's been watching, so we get this stirred up a little bit right in here. And, and then, uh, see now, oh, look at this one. This one right here. There's one thing you got to watch out for them in, the, in there, though. Especially these big guys like this. When you cut into them, you need to be prepared. First of all, there could be a little bit of a void inside of there. And when you bite into it, or if you cut it with a knife, you want to make sure that you're ready to catch the runoff from the inside. And then if, if, if not, then what you do is you turn it up like it was one of them little bitty liquor bottles because <laughs> it, it's going to be coming down if not you need to be wearing a bib i guarantee you that if you're not wearing a bib or if you're not going to be careful with it then uh what is that phrase uh casa del bewero no, I know that's not it. I'm trying to think of it, and I'm just stalling. 
There goes one of them little Thai peppers. We're putting it in the jar there for Dee Dee. And Hank, I have to tell you that that's pretty good. And what we're going to be, what I'm going to be doing next after this, I'm going to be, I heard about making uh, water, watermelon rind, pickled watermelon rind. And uh, since uh, we bought us a watermelon today, guess what? <laughs> Once we cut that sucker up, it coming in. Not into this mixture. It'll be in its own mixture. So, but you can see that there we have it. And, uh, and it's looking good. Things are looking good. See, now here's that banana pepper. That, that banana pepper has sort of come apart just a little bitty bit. That's some good stuff right there. I can tell you that. I had one of these pickles the other day. I just couldn't. I just could not stay out of it. And that's how I can tell you that that it sort of sneaks right up on you. So, without putting this together, and without you watching, I'm going to dip some up here to to bottle and put into the fridge. We'll just let this go right now. And we'll call this day 13, and I'm going to let it go for another week. So we'll have one more report before we have the final report. And at the final report, then we'll have a tasting. And we'll put that little <laughs> NFC scratch and sniff up there, see if you can get a hold of it.